we actually started with Amber um, after the film Jurassic Park came on the, the scene um, because we thought, well, Jurassic Park talks about Amber. We thought at the time that it would probably create a bit of interest, so we put a dozen or so pieces into stock, uh, sold them, bought a few more pieces, um, sold a bit more, so we sort of built up the Amber stock. Basically the amber room is split up into two main sections. Um, this side tends to be the, the modern jewellery um, that is, is for sale. All types of, of amber, um, many more things than people think that amber is, is used for because apart from earrings and bracelets and necklets, um, we have all the carvings, um, all sorts of things like knives, thimbles, compacts, uh, all sorts of uh, key rings, dice even. Whereas then the other side tends to be the museum side. Um, we have examples of material going back to the Stone Age um, from the UK. Um, we have um, also uh, so some Phoenician material and also I have some Byzantine um, amber, um, again all carved from Baltic material. This cabinet is basically the Roman, what we call the Roman cabinet and it's, it's examples of the, the amber that was used um, by the Romans, um, carved um, basically in Italy. Um, and the typical sort of beads tend to be the am these amphora shape beads. Um, and there's quite a number of, of different pieces, quite, quite rough, and, and because obviously they've been buried for a number of centuries. Um, but in particular, the, one of the favorite pieces I have in here is, is our Norf Norwich beads. Um, now these are 5th to 6th century, um, so end of the Roman period, the start of the Anglo-Saxons. Um, and uh, these were found um, some years ago uh, in Thorpe Road in Norwich. Basically what we have here is, is a, a map showing um, examples of where the main locations of amber come from. Um, there is all sorts of amber from different areas, different ages. The, the Baltic amber is between 38 and 45 million years old. Um, some of the ambers over 120 million years old. The Baltic material is associated around um, the, the, the middle part of Europe. Um, because you had it in the Baltic, you have it in Russia, um, you have it in the Ukraine, um, you have it in Romania, uh, and of course we get some of it washed up on the beaches of, of Norfolk and Suffolk. And then further afield we have actual Chinese amber, um, which is, is quite unusual because mostly the Chinese in their jewellery and carvings um, actually use the Burmese amber rather than the actual Chinese amber. spending quite a lot of time at antique fairs and I used to find little pieces of amber, antique uh, items, brooches and rings and all sorts of things uh, which I was just got an interest in and, and started buying for my own usage or my own collection if you like. And then a few years ago we decided that um, you know we've got all this stuff tucked away in the vault that's not being seen. Um, we would bring them out and make a show of them. And, and hence we developed the museum cabinets. Um, we've now got items that you know, range from the Stone Age onwards. 